All right, guys, we're back. They're not closed for a private event tonight, so <laughs> round two. All right, guys, so we ended up back at Spago at the restaurant I wanted to go to yesterday. He's actually, the chef is right on the wall line. I didn't film the intro outside yet because there were like five staff members literally just standing right outside the front of the restaurant, so I didn't want to like raise any suspicions immediately, and I'll just wait till after I leave. So I took, I took a second look at the menu because like I'm not going to West Hollywood, I'm not going to downtown LA, those, it's like a half hour, 40 minute Uber. This is a lot closer to the place I'm staying at, it's only like 10, 15 minutes. Oh yeah, so the kid just came over with the drink list, but like I am so dehydrated, I am not feeling good. I've had like three glasses of wine with the past three meals. I literally just like can't rehydrate myself. I just need to like drink as much water as possible. I got a ginger ale in there. Like green, I probably shouldn't even do the ginger ale. We'll see. So I'll probably, um, I might order some extra food just cause, like instead of ordering two or three dishes, I'll definitely get three. But yeah, I, I like, it was weird. I'm drinking so much water. I, I don't have like my Fuji or, um, a lower mineral water here with me, so I've been drinking a lot of Mountain Valley, and I think the calcium might be messing up. I think I'm not taking enough magnesium with it. I should have showed you guys the wine list, though. So, th this first option is the main reason I wanted to come here. They have all different homemade breads and uh, cauliflower hummus with butter. So, those are like two, like, especially cauliflower hummus, like, couldn't choose a more perfect food to make on my diet. So, that, that was one of the main things I was looking at. I don't usually do the pasta because the the durum weed is like pretty inflammatory. Oh well they have they didn't have this on the website when I looked but they have artichokes which I can do. I just really you know what? Mince chimichurri, not a fan. And honestly the artichokes I had for uh for uh for lunch, like if it's not artichoke hearts, it's not honestly that fun to eat. I wonder if these are like um this might actually be doable because sometimes th this might not be your durum wheat noodle. This is like an Asian style noodle dish. Doesn't sound that bad from a liver health perspective. See, all, all the pastas are probably out, but. Halibut, not that great. I mean, halibut isn't that polluted because it's a leaner fish, but it's still like a, a bot. It lives at the bottom of the ocean. It can get really big. Salmon, too fatty, no no go. Bronzino is good, um, but shiitake mushrooms are kind of high in copper. Um, and I never sleep when I eat rice, so maybe that's not the best idea. They had uh, they had scallops listed on the website, but I guess not tonight. Yeah, so when I got back from lunch, I wasn't feeling too hot. I took a Motrin, laid down a little bit, um, tried to get some fresh air, but I think the main thing was like, I haven't been that active the past day, so. When you're not moving, when you're not walking, like your lymph fluids is stagnant, and that on its own can just make you feel like complete shit. Like you could have everything else in check, the low EMF, the air, you could be taking antimicrobials, all the supplements you're supposed to take, but just doing like jumping jacks or something just to get things moving is a big deal. So that's probably why I wasn't feeling so good. Also, I didn't make the best choices for lunch. Like I should have, uh, I should have had that tuna dish. Um, I honestly, honestly, what I'm regretting is I should have just taken the extra 15 minute cab ride to that other restaurant and that would have been fine. I mean, we're not really, at least it's better than regular ginger ale, right? What do they put in this? It's actually so dark in here, I can't read this. But we got, I guess, good old Pellegrino, which is not too horrible. So there are a few things on the menu I thought I could have, but not really. Uh, the bread is still good. I don't really feel like having artichokes again, but he did say the hearts are separated. So, and there was literally nothing else I want. Like, I was trying to pick one other appetizer dish that I wanted to get, but like, I'm not doing any fish, I'm not getting tuna again, like, so we just did the bread and the artichokes, and then I wanted to do the bronzino, possibly for an entree, but that's fried. There was this noodle dish, but it's actually, the noodles are actually made from mackerel. It's like, they dry the mackerel, and it's actually fish noodles. It's like some keto stuff. So mackerel, not that great for the liver, very fatty. And then they have a wiener schnitzel, which is uh, fried veal. 
which I like, but I made sure that, but they fry it in peanut oil, which I was surprised. Because most of the time, like high-end restaurants, they usually fry it in butter, or clarified butter in a pan, but I guess it could be either or. Um, so if, if they could do the Wiener Schnitzel in butter, I'll do it. So, so we can do it, you just said it wouldn't be breaded. Can I asked him, like, yeah, that's, that's fine. Does that work that's for you? That's fine, yeah. Just a nice veal cutlet? Yeah, veal cutlet without that, that's breading is fine. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So we're going to do that with the artichoke, no mint. Yeah. Bread, artichoke, no mint. Yeah. Wiener, butter fry. Yeah. Okay. And maybe you can send me a new liver and I'll order some wine. Some what? No, I was just joking. If you give me a liver transplant, I'll order some more wine. Hey, I think you should go. Yeah, I'll get one for each of us. <laughs> this fits kind of funny. I wonder how old this waiter is. He must be like fucking like 18 or 19. Maybe a little older, but he's a little like. Well. Wolfgang Puck restaurant, you would assume like they're really on top of their shit, but it's really nice. They have a lot of staff, beautiful restaurant, like so much. Like when you have this type of level of chef, they hire so much staff, it's insane. So when I got to use the bathroom, the chef's actually here. I mean, he's super famous, so I was kind of surprised, but I was surprised when I saw him. So right as I walked by him, I go, hey, the man himself. I could have shook his hand, but... I was kind of surprised. Um, yeah, uh, I mean, you could just Google Wolfgang Puck. I've, I've probably seen, like, unintentionally, like, over a dozen or two dozen different videos about him, like, over the course of my life, basically. Guy's been around forever. I think he does, like, a lot of the, um, I think he caters, like, a lot of the big celebrity, like, um, like the Golden, not, maybe not the Golden Glows, but like those type of events, like he actually does the food sometimes. Oh, um, when that kid came over, they said they could do the wiener schnitzel and butter, but no breading, which is honestly probably better because if it's breaded, then it's gonna soak up so much butter and be much higher in fat, so that's definitely true. When he said that, no breading, I was like, oh, it's probably for the better anyway. Bro, if I, if, I, if, God, if I end up that old and I'm still working, I mean, he's not that old, I think he's in his, probably, well, I don't even know how old he is, but he has white hair, so I'm assuming he's older than, like, 55, 60. Um, if I end up that old guy, just hit, someone hit me in the head with a brick if I'm still working, if I'm still working at that age. And by the way, I feel better, but I'm definitely not hungry. I just had to cut the camera off because he was right next to my table and he introduced himself, so that was nice. I gave my business card. He said he opened, opened the restaurant 42 years ago, so I was... I was negative 11 when the restaurant opened. I'm pretty sure, oh well, if he has Wiener Schnitz on the menu, I'm guessing he's a German. So instead of, instead of him settling with the Amish, like some of my buddies, he's a uh, side going famous chef. Alright guys, I just did some Googling so you don't have to. He's born, born in 1949, so he's 74. Um, an Austrian, not German. That was close. Austrians, Austria is pretty close to Germany. But um, if he was, if he opened a restaurant 42 years ago and he's 74, that means that he opened this restaurant when he was 32. So he was basically my age when he opened the restaurant in Beverly Hills. So you know, a, lo a lot of these like. A lot of these really successful European chefs, they're able to, um, they're able to act, they start their businesses pretty young, but they work like dogs because these guys, these guys will start when they're like 15, 16, 17, just working. And by the time they're in their like early 20s, they already have basically 10 years of cooking experience. So you'll, you'll see like guys 23, 24, 25, a lot of really famous chefs even well not maybe not super famous chef but they'll have like a they'll be the chef of a famous restaurant at a really young age uh because they had like the right people guiding them and they learned a lot when they were younger but in, in this day and age like that that would never happen like to open a restaurant this expensive in beverly hills at 32 on your own would base at 32 would be like to have that much money capital to do it unless you had investors and, and backing and stuff but that's what i guess most people do that 
All right, guys, looks good. This is the artichoke dish. It's honestly a little dark in here, so I almost can't tell what's what. That's artichoke. All right, oh, so though, so they flip the artichokes uh, in different parts. Uh, this comes with something pistachio. So these are sliced pistachios. There's some like chili and herbs and seasoning on it. Um, oh, oh, those are potatoes. That's right. There were, um, these are potatoes. There's not sure what the sauce on the bottom is, but there were there was a mint chimichurri that I told them not to put on here because you guys know my uh, my sentiments towards mint from the last vlog. This bowl is shaped perfectly, so you guys can't really see the food. <laughs> there you go. Okay, that's like like that's the way I'm supposed to be eating it. Because now I have a lip in front of me, but now you guys can see it. So th this is from a health perspective dish. This is this is probably one of the best dishes we've had throughout all the walks because artichokes, you guys know, but those are really delicious. Those artichokes I had in the last lunch vlog, I wouldn't even call those artichokes compared to this because these are phenomenal. It's really good, it's just... A lot of flavor. It's super well seasoned, it's moist, it's crunchy. A lot of flavor. I'd love to see the recipe. The um, potatoes are okay. Potatoes, like nothing too crazy. The potato with the artichoke with the pistachio is pretty good together. I don't really like the potatoes on their own. I think they're supposed to be with the, uh, with the artichoke. In a lot of higher end restaurants, the chef makes these dishes and all the different components are supposed to usually be eaten together, not on their own. The best thing I've had in LA so far, granted, the only actually good restaurant I've been to in LA. Yeah, good, thank you. For some reason, all these fucking girls walking by me are smiling. But I feel like a lot of times, like, well, like some people, some people in here, they're dressed up really nice. Some people not. I look kind of a thug because I'm an idiot with my fucking EMF hat on because I didn't comb my hair. And, um, I got like gray sweats on and boots on, so. Um, I don't know why, maybe I look scary. Maybe my eyes look crooked or something. That's why the girls are afraid I'm gonna do something to them. Oh, he's, the chef's taking a picture with some people. I should have asked him for a picture. You know what? I should really get a picture for the thumbnail. All right, that'll be the goal tonight. Should I go over there and just bother him for a picture right now? Yes. Yeah, you can take this. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, if I wasn't already stuffed like a pig today, it's definitely going to be now. Uh, so, we got a baguette here. This is buckwheat, so I don't know if I'm going to actually like that. I'll try a little bit first. Uh, this is the cauliflower puree and then some butter. This is a flatbread and then uh, some type of uh, some type of bun here. So if you take this out the way? Yeah, 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 go ahead, thank you. The buckwheat baguette's actually pretty good. It, because it tastes mostly like normal bread. I was worried it was going to have some like overpowering buckwheat flavor. <laughs> cauliflower pear is like, um, like a cauliflower hummus. 
ironically something I might actually make on my current diet now that I that's oddly interesting that's like cause you guys know I'm a fan of cauliflower and I eat a lot it's just weird how um, how sometimes the restaurant dishes really line up to what I can and can't eat but it's um it has like a lot of oil in it so I'd like if I made it for myself it'd be different but probably better to have the puree than the butter so the buckwheat baguette it's probably the best because, like you know, there's not that much fat in it. Like it's not, there's no oil on it. There's not no fat in it. It's just baguette. Just water and flour. Flatbread. It's like, you can see there's oil and there's a lot of seeds on it. And it's like paper thin. So this is something that like, like I don't even like it that much. So I'm not going to eat it. And also, I don't know if you'd be able to get that. Chef, when you get a sec, can I get a picture? All right. <laughs> he, just, he just walked by the table and I have to bust his balls for a picture, so we got the picture. But he's like, he's like super famous, so I'm sure he's used to people like fanboying over him. But now, now we got a thumbnail for the YouTube picture. So it worked out, it worked out perfectly. It's good, it's good. What was this again? This is the Caraway Parker House Rolls. Okay, okay. It's probably my favorite. They're like the most... Is it rye or is it regular wheat? It's, uh, it's regular wheat, but there's caraway uh, flour and there's caraway seeds as well. No, I really don't like caraway. This is what I'll try. It's funny because like, it's like a nice, nice kind of, but there's something like, I've had this with Nutella, which is it's, it's just a weird uh, example, but it's, I feel you though. I used to hate I it as really a don't like caraway. It's okay. It's like licorice on the meats, right? It has that like, I don't like final, it. Yeah. Highway, I love that. Yeah. So, this roll is delicious, but it has caraway in it. And I don't know where caraway was grown or invented, but we need to find them and burn it down. Like, for me, Rye bread is okay sometimes, but when they put caraway in the rye bread, I can't eat it. It's gross. But, but, this bread is so good that despite having caraway in it, I still like it. Also, there's no way I'm going to be able to take a bite out of this entree if I keep eating bread. funny bro like you wonder what people think when they see you eating in a restaurant by yourself and then they see I'm like filming with my phone they think I'm just some YouTuber or something or they don't know that I could just really be fucking crazy and no girl wants to listen to me talk all right so so that um that caraway bread it's really good, but I think there's butter or something in it, so it's a little heavy. And I want my stomach to be intact, especially considering we gotta fly back home soon. So I'm gonna try to have a, a few more pieces of the, the baguette with uh, the cauliflower. I would eat this, this buckwheat baguette with cauliflower. I eat this every day for lunch. Although, um, I kind of want to try the butter though. I was about to joke to the chef like, hey, hopefully you're alive by the time I open my restaurant. But I thought to myself, holy fuck, Frank, please don't say that. 
So I kind of blurted out something like, hey, when I have my restaurant, and then he just kind of walked off. So it wasn't really paying attention to what I was saying, but thankfully I didn't say what I meant to say. Because so I thought of making that joke, and then I was like, hold on, Frank, you got to word that one better. But my brain is not working fast enough. Yeah, bro, I'm, this, out of all the restaurants I've ever been to, and all the foods I've ever eaten on this, in these restaurant blocks, this bread and cauliflower hummus is probably, like, the closest thing to something I'd actually eat on my diet. So try a little butter. Butter's good. I'll take one more. This is ginger ale. Yeah. I drank a bottle of wine for lunch, so I'm just out of it. I'm a New Yorker. It's like sometimes you gotta go. Oh, yeah, I'm from New York too. Yeah. They, take me, the they take me out of New York though, so it's alright. Oh, welcome to LA. <laughs> oh, little does she know I'm not in LA, I'm in Pennsylvania. Yeah, bro, if that waiter convinced me to order some wine or booze, I would have been fucking cooked. Completely cooked. This, uh, this bread box contraption they sent me looks like something like bento box Japanese restaurant style. Makes the perfect camera stand. I kind of want to stop eating because I'm going to be sick as hell. But hopefully my stomach holds up a few more hours and we can make it back home. Now, I joked to that girl that I had a bottle of wine for lunch, which you guys know is a lie. However, me drinking a glass of wine, which is what I really had with my current liver damage, is probably the equivalent to a normal person drinking a bottle of wine. So I think it was a fair joke to make. Like, this is... This is kind of how, like, I would love to have a restaurant like this with my food. Like, the, the location, the ambiance, the, the quality of the clientele, the quality of the food, but with, you know, my little, my little twist on all my crazy food ideas, but maybe, give me 10 years. Cauliflower, hummus. I think it's just... They roast the cauliflower to get a little color on it. And then it's olive oil and garlic in it. If I'm smart, I stop fucking eating and leave. <laughs> no. Um, can, is that, are they, did everybody fire the veal? Or I, can they wait a little bit? Because I'm yeah, like, stop. Up. Yeah, just give yeah. me like 10 minutes. Yeah. Of course. I'm kind of sad this is the last vlog because. Oh, I already bought it out. All right, it's fine. Oh, you want to know, right? No, it's cool. I'll eat it. Yo. I love... It's alright. It's fine. No, it's okay. It's not a big deal. I'm sure you, can you notice the timing of that? that was, uh... Thankfully, I thought it was going to be some huge... Like, I thought it was going to be way bigger. I was like, I bet this should be fine. And it's, there's no breading. It's like... Uh, I'm sorry, but you, so you could have seen... Uh, you probably saw me go to the kitchen. No, I didn't. But I thought it was funny because literally about 10 seconds after you walked away, he came out. I was like, alright, I guess... <laughs> Try this is a uh, that's potato or so yeah, warm German potato salad. Yeah. It's really like a vinegar based potato salad instead of mayo. It's phenomenal. I got you. Caraway marinated cucumbers. So caraway. I got you. No, I don't. I don't care about the rest. I, I got you. No, no, don't worry about it. It's all right. I'm, I'm, curious, this is nice. It's more yogurt and dill than caraway. But I, I don't like cucumbers. Either. <laughs> I'm a little picky. Good. Uh, I'm a little bit. Do you need anything else right now? No, good. I think ginger ale, right? These, I think No, it's fine. The sweet kid. Kid's nice. But I like how his head's a little far off his ass. I like it. It's funny. So this is... They just take the veal. They pound it thin. Normally it's breaded, but... 
we did no breading, just seared in butter, which is better actually. It's like a warm potato salad, cucumbers, and tomato. Thank you. And a second ginger ale, which is probably gonna give me candida. So, um, ginger ale or Sprite is probably less inflammatory than Coca-Cola. I think it has less additives. Like this, like I don't, I don't like cucumbers and caraway, but that's what that's on. That's on that. We don't do tomatoes because of the carotene. There's some lemon here. I don't really care too much for lemon, but the uh, the, the potato salad is, which you can't really call it potato salad. It's literally like one fingerling potato peeled and chopped. It's good. It's like. It's like a little vinegar on them. It's okay. I think it's like white wine vinegar. I think it's meant to be eaten with it. Like each of these things on the plate here, you're supposed to eat them with the um, the wiener schnitzel. Hey Frank, put that knife down. We're not we're not drinking London water anymore. I mean, it's it's regular conventional veal. It always tastes good. It's really tender. Not not too much like veal never has too strong of a flavor. It's not that greasy because it's not breaded and fried. Really moist in the middle. It's like they didn't really cook it all. They cooked it all the way through, kind of, but. Maybe they like grind it or dry grind it before cooking it. Just to keep it really moist. A lot, a lot of salt, a lot of herbs, a lot of seasoning. It's good. Not 100% sure on the logistics of ginger ale being good for your stomach, but <clears throat> I don't think they had um, I don't think they had Sprite. My head hurts a little bit now, but. Maybe, um, we all feel better after we eat, but honestly, like, the ginger ale, the sugar, if I don't feel that good, the sugar's always a bad idea. Like, so ginger ale, sort of a bad idea, probably shouldn't get dessert either. Because when the candida eats the sugar, the candida overgrows, and like causes uh, leaky gut and stuff. I'm, I'm gonna be smart. I'm gonna. I'm only getting half of this because I'm like, like my stomach is just. I'm completely full, and I'm gonna bring this home to the nurse or something. All right. So this is only this is only 14 grams of sugar. So. Like that one Coke we had was uh, like 40, so this isn't that bad. He's like, he's taking a picture with everyone. I wonder how often he's here, if he's here like every weekend. Like with my current gum motility and stomach and stuff, I don't digest that fast. So like, I ate like maybe less than half of this. And I know like, like, I'm not gonna be able to eat anymore, for sure. Like, I could probably have dessert, but this, if I eat the rest of this, I'll be like really, really fucking completely stuffed. Then I won't digest this until lunchtime tomorrow. The, um, the nurse is like a pet dog, she feeds us all. I guess the dog will be eating a wiener schnitzel tonight. Fucking. Fantastic $75 bill for the dog. It's good. Oh my god. I should not have taken that bite. I'm so full. Bro. My stomach? Oh my god. I feel like 
what I ate, like, in regards to, like, not shitting my pants, I should be good, but I am slightly concerned. I took too much masticum today, but, and my stomach's kind of bubbling. So, I'll take, I mean, I'll take a look at the dessert menu, but it's a bad fucking idea. Because, I mean, if we get back, it's probably like 10, 10, 15. But, uh, I gotta leave for my flight at 4 in the morning, so hopefully it can, my digestion's fine and we can get a few hours of sleep. Very nice restaurant. God knows how much, how much it costs to, to do this. I mean, the whole... The whole Beverly Hills area, if you guys have never been to Los Angeles, it's, everything's super nice. Like, everything's nice. Everything looks shiny. Like, all the buildings, all the streets, everything looks really nice and clean. I'm sure the same cannot be said about most of the rest of LA. Yeah, this restaurant is so nice. I'm curious about, like, I wonder if the construction material and stuff is actually, like, really, really expensive, or if it's just done really well. Maybe it's so fucking dark in here that you can't tell either. Yo, do you guys know if Wolfgang Puck has a daughter? Because like, I might make a joke if, I, if, he, if he talks to me again before I leave, I might make, might make a joke about that, but... Um, I don't know. If, if, he doesn't, if he doesn't actually have one, I'd feel a lot more comfortable making the joke. Alright, I just looked it up. He actually has four sons, so I'll make the joke. Alright, so... The nurses are gonna feed the 75 dollar bill to the dog. It looks like we got 24 layer cake. Eyes, eyes are smart. Strawberries, strawberry sorbet raisins. That actually sounds good. I just don't do berries because of oxalates and stuff. But that's actually pretty healthy. Dark chocolate souffle. A lot of dairy, a lot of eggs. Same with this, tort, dark chocolate ganache. Chocolate also beard, I'll never sleep. Pavlova, a lot of dairy. A lot of eggs again. Cookie, same thing. So I asked if they had sorbet, because everything here is just a lot of uh, eggs and dairy. And um, well, they have cheese selection too, but you guys know I'm not doing dairy. They have, they have coconut and strawberry sorbet. So same as that other restaurant. Um, Oh, one thing you guys probably don't know is um, the, there's like um, there's this artisanal sorbet company that supplies sorbet to a lot of I well, yeah they, a lot of like fancy restaurants use their artisanal sorbets. So I mean I didn't ask, but you know do they you kind of ask okay do they make it themselves or does it come in? I'm guessing they make it themselves here, but even still like strawberry and coconut or not. Not a fan of coconut, as you guys know. Honestly, if I wasn't full, if I wasn't really full, I'd probably do strawberry sorbet, but... Because uh, it's all they have. And then they just have like all the dessert wine, sauternes, sweet wine and stuff, but I'm not drinking anything. You know, they actually have some tea, some uh, some tea, tea here. And if you had like... um a certain flower tea, like uh, an herbal tea. Some of them might not be that bad, but I don't know enough about teas to determine that. So, so green green tea, probably not. Herbal tea, ca chamomile, actually. Chamomile might not be that bad. White tea, silver needle, I don't know about that. Thank you. Oolong tea, I don't know enough about oolong tea. So the green tea and the black teas and the mint teas will be out, but if you really wanted to drink something, you got your tea. What's the damage, boys? Total with tip is 214. Bro, oh, what the fuck? San Pellegrino 1250. That's fucking hilarious. That's actually funny. 1250 for a bottle of Pellegrino. That's that's the price the whole case costs. Is it? Alright, I'm exaggerating a little bit. Maybe the whole case is like 20 bucks, but I'm pretty sure wholesale. No, no. Wholesale, I bet you if I bought a pow to San Pellegrino. Each case would be 12 bucks, which is what they're charging per bottle. $214. Yeah, I mean, they charge 13 bucks for the water. The ginger ale's were 8 each. 
So that's 16 plus 13 is 40 bucks plus taxes. 50, it, $55 in tax and soda and water is like insane. But that means that the, the real bill should probably be like 150 which would be a lot more reasonable, but go we'll figure. 200 bucks for this. Kind of wild, dude. Just to eat out, just to have like a full meal now. But. Bro, but if you want to meet like a rich evil baddie that you have no chance with, bring your stilts and come to Spago. I'm gonna run to the bathroom today. Well, I guess we'll get out of here. So yesterday, it's like they closed the whole restaurant for a private event, but today they even have another private event, another part. So, guys, making a lot of money. Yeah. He was just tick-tacking outside with some fucking boomers making fun of me. I turned around and yelled at her, hey, you want to be in it? Of course she didn't want to be in it. Um, bro, I don't think I could stomach a week of $200 dinner. <laughs> like, on one, on one hand, on one hand, I probably hemorrhage as much money on the business as I would spend on... I, I would bet I probably hemorrhage around a thousand bucks a week on my business for stupid shit. So, it shouldn't really be that big of a deal because, hey, at least you're spending it on something productive and enjoyable, but it's just, when I get a fucking check for $200, I feel like vomiting. So, go figure. I'm not, I thought that was a real fucking person. It's a statue. It's a fucking selfie statue. Dude, this area, Beverly Hills, Wilshire Boulevard, just everything looks so clean and nice. The streets, the houses, everything. The cars too, because uh, if you guys are from like the the rust, like the northeast and stuff, where all the cars rust out, uh, even like even like a ten year old truck here looks brand new. Everything's just so nice compared to uh, even just driving on the highway. All the cars look a lot nicer and cleaner. That's obvious, though. All right, so I guess we'll uh, wait for an Uber and uh, I'll go back to. Uh, we got to go back and pack everything up, make sure everything's ready for our flight this morning. I'll try to get a few hours of sleep, but I feel okay. I was worried, you know, how my health was going to be coming out here, but it's not that bad. It's not that bad. Although, I don't know. We'll see how we feel. But that's it for the restaurant vlog. If you guys want to support me and my nonsense, go to frank com. Maybe if you guys, uh, you know, come on, let's see. You guys spend enough hey maybe we will have our own restaurant sometime or as usual i will complain about not being abducted to columbia or something to not have to deal with this yeah look if, if you guys really do enjoy these and a lot of you like them try to do this try to go out for a week or another week vacation maybe this year or something um maybe we could do la again but i think i think if i do la one more time then that'll kind of be it like i don't know if there will be any more spots i want to go to which will be fine because we still got there's 10 vlogs in the tank. You guys know you got to be careful if you hook up with a chick from Beverly Hills because every thrust, a $100 bill will fall out of your wallet. And if you forgot your wallet, every every thrust, your bank account's going to go down. Cha -ching. And if you, your bank account's down too, the credit card bill's going to go up $100 every uh, every thrust. Cha -ching, cha -ching. Like, a, like a Mario, like a, you know the, the Mario jumping for coins slot, the slot, I don't know. My brain's fucking fried. Final intermission. Uh, I was just, I was just curious how much I spent on Ubers while I was out here. I'm surprised it was only, a, it's only $110. I thought it would be way more. So I'm, I guess, I guess renting a car would be probably way more expensive, especially considering you're probably gonna have to pay for parking. I actually don't know. I don't know how much it is to rent a car now. I just remember last time I had to rent a car in New York for two weeks, it was like fucking $1,700. It was something insane. Like I got in a car accident and I needed a car for work. And, but I spent 111 in Ubers. It's just the problem with the Uber is like, I'm sitting now. I gotta wait. I gotta wait 10 minutes. I thought it, I thought LA would have so many Ubers, but I'm not in like um, I'm like Beverly Hills and like fucking the expensive part where everyone has their own car. So there's not a lot of Ubers around here. But it's still not that bad. The main reason I want to rent a car next time I come here is uh, one convenience. Um, well, not one. Number one, the biggest reason is because I get motion sick as fuck 
most of the, 90% of the time I'm in a car, I get motion sickness if I'm not driving. So that's the main reason. The second reason is because Teslas fry your brain and a lot of people have Teslas out here. So that's another reason to not want to take Ubers. And I guess the third one is, uh, you know, don't have to wait around, it's more convenient. And uh, probably more inclination to go, go places. But that's it, hopefully uh, you guys enjoy these restaurant vlogs uh, that I didn't get canceled for half the stupid shit I did. Bro, it's so sensitive now, it's so sensitive.